Now, with a government where portfolios are created and given just for appreciation and then for thank you and for I know you and I don't know you, there will always be a clash of interest. Trust me, the two guys that always used to sell to the media lies and propaganda about what is happening in Nigeria, about what is happening in the Timbu's Tim administration clashed to the Ajurian Gilali and Bayo Ononuga. Bayo Ononuga actually came out and said, um, Tinubu is actually meeting with the National Assembly. And then Ajurian Gilali came out to say, it's not going to happen. I'm putting up their post up there so that you can actually see. And trust me, Nigerians have crammed down on both of them. Because at the end of the day, Ajurian Gilali is the one that actually passed across the false news, even though he called Bayo Ononuga's news false. And then, you know, Tinubu actually went to go and meet with the senate and then signed the the the, the new national uh, the old national anthem that they wanted to bring back into law and it's funny how that they were so fast in doing that and nigerians after looking at these people that the criminals uh, know what they are doing if they want to do pass up a bill in two or three days and sign it to law they can actually do it but when it comes to the issue that pertain nigerians and the sufferings they are going through they take years without doing nothing silent there are a lot of pertinent issues there are a lot of issues on ground that these people are supposed to discuss the constitution is there very messed up that they are supposed to start looking for how to you know work on it and and you know reform it and everything but no they would rather drop those ones and pick frivolities like the national anthem nigerians are asking what value does this national anthem have this old national anthem have to the hunger that they are dealing with to the to the to the to the insecurity that they are facing to the inflation that the country is in right now what is the value of the national old national anthem to it trust me i'm going to be showing you how the arise tv crew roasted them with all those things combined but before i do that let me also tell you that peter obi has started receiving donations for his 2027 campaign a young man actually met him and gave him a hundred dollars and say he's actually donating to peter obi's campaign and telling him that please do not give up remain steadfast in the duty we are rooting for you we know you are the one that can actually change it because it's very clear there's nobody that can actually handle the situation of this country and then we are still there for you it doesn't matter what happened in 2023 we're going to make the corrections we're going to be more active and we're going to make sure that at the end of the day we don't get messed up and deceived let me allow you what this video when i come back we'll continue mr b uh do you have anything to say about the young man that just gave you a check uh to support your campaign well, you see this is what i was talking about nigeria when people say we have a brain I always say, if you get it right, and it will shock you the amount of investment and human capital that will flow in. Sure. I was in Yale University two years ago. Two young boys that were born in the United States had nothing to do with Nigeria, said to me, we want to go back. Mm -hmm. they, they told me about the business they're going to do. And by the time I know it, they were back in Nigeria. And today you could see, here is a young man, born in the United States, have never, probably have never been to Nigeria. Have you been? I've been to Nigeria. Not been to Nigeria, oh. but following what you're doing, from his little hard work and everything, just gave me a check of $100 and said, I want you to continue what you're doing. We want you to change Nigeria because... You've seen it, right? Yes, I can tell you that this is just the beginning. There are legions of Nigerians that are still willing to donate their time, their money, everything to still see this man make progress. As far as it comes to the issue of election, voting Peter Obi into power, trust me, Nigerians are relentless. Obedience are relentless. And that is why they have been with him all this while. Even with all the shenanigans, the lies against him, obedience are going to go and dig out and expose the lies. And they are still willing to do what they did in 2023 even more. Because right 
right now nigerians are saying listen it has become so tough and a lot of people are now seeing what we saw that time and we're saying these guys have no remedy to this government they are there to mess the people up and look at what they are signing into law very quickly you can see it the signs are there a, a, a the old national anthem i don't know the value of that though i i don't know sincerely i don't know i don't know how the old national anthem will actually bring back you know you know the, the people that are dead out of insecurity maybe after singing it they will rise from the dead and they'll come back or maybe those that hunger have killed maybe it will be bring them back or those that are suffering will suddenly sing the national anthem and then some food will come to their table or or everything will just go normal after singing the national anthem maybe inflation will drop um, naira will g gain value um you know everything will just go it for me it has no effect whatsoever when the same corrupt set of people are singing the national anthem it doesn't change it doesn't even touch them they will stand up and sing it and they will not feel nothing why because it is same people this corruption is in the mind it has nothing to do with whether the anthem is the way it is or it's not the way it is the the, the evil that is happening in this country is imbued in the mind of the politicians so if you like even change the flag change the name of nigeria change the constitution change everything they will look for in fact that is the more reason why they don't want the constitution to change because they know clearly that it favors the criminality that they are they are doing so at the end of the day we will not change this thing if not we will not be able to rig we will not change it because if we change it we are the ones to suffer it at the end of the day they will only do things that will not affect their wicked greedy ambition that's the only thing they will put in place that's why they quickly ran and they just passed the bill into law pa, 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 pa. we are going back to the old national anthem as a day i never learn i know even the plan to learn because if i sing and what it change no change anything the corrupt politician remains the corrupt, corrupt politician look at what you are passing through in this country and they are changing national anthem is that supposed to be even the major thing to talk about is that supposed to be the major People are going through hell. You are singing, changing national anthem. Before you know, they are saying, hey, let us change the flag. Let us make it more active. Let us change Nigeria, the name Nigeria. Ndiara, oh Ndiara. Because they cannot even pay attention to the major things. Let me show you what the Arise TV crew had to say about this whole thing. And when I come back, we'll wrap this up. I think what happened between Bayern Onuga and Nigerian Gulali is a reflective of the confusion that has eroded the first year anniversary of President Tinubu. Mm -hmm. It is same in this government. We had announcement about the mask deal. It is same in this government that we had Dubai yeah, that was, is um, back. That was Bayern Onuga's faux pas. Yeah. It is same, uh, what's it called? We had Dubai is back and all of that. That was Ajuri Gulali. Also Ajuri Gulali's faux pas. And Ajuri also did another one. You remember when Ajuri said that Tinubu was the first president to go to NASDAQ and, you know, ring That was bell. Ajuri Gulali. So that was Ajuri. So this bunch of guys have been giving out false information. They are the purveyors of fake news from the presidency. And that's reflective. And it speaks volumes. I know Dr. Bazi will talk about the internal workings and he will tell you the story of how, oh, this will never happen in my time. I mean, I can predict what he's going to say. But a couple of things. I knew there was going to be a problem. And please, I'm not trying to fish out for anything. When Bayer Onuga was brought in as strategy information SA, mm -hmm. and Ajuri was in that job too, and it was just a different decision was strategy. And I've been seeing a lot of the break back because I felt it was a duplication of duty. If you were keeping Bayer, keep him. I mean, if you were keeping a jury, keep him. So why was there a need? And this was an action that came in much later. Now, if you look at the, um, the situation on ground, everything is said is correct. Are people poorer today? Ask the people. They will answer themselves. We, we know the Ebing power. We know mm -hmm. the people that I'm, I'm hungry. That, yeah. People are hungry. We see people. We, uh, if you look at the streets now, there are a few more people sleeping on our streets. More beggars. Unfortunately, whilst he was quick to make the announcements of subsidy removal, the, the, he hasn't been quick to effect the social in, in, intervention programs. Just two of them I'll mention very quickly. What's happening to the student loans? That's why promises. Yes, they're going to launch. How successful has that been? What's happening with the launch of the CNG buses? What's happening with the minimum wage? What's that, you know, and now our living wage as a promise. So many things not done and making people palliatives. Absolutely. Nothing has happened concretely, right. making people poorer. Right. You've had it right. There is no way any sane Nigerian will look at this thing that is happening now and start hailing them and say they have done well. These guys ended up doing nothing for one year. They put the people in more abject poverty paying attention to frivolities and it's unfortunate that we have a very very photocopy in the senate with people that are there that all they know 
is their tummy. I, I, I was, I was appreciative of the guy that actually stood up in the, uh, you know, House of Representatives to ask what the national anthem will do to the situation that Nigerians are facing. I appreciated that young man because it takes God for you to be able to stand up and counter and speak reality in the face of this impunity that is going uh, uh, round. They will want to victimize you. We have Labour Party senators that are there. We have PDP senators that are there. None of them thought it well to say, okay, let us even attack this thing. Let us even pay attention to the real deal. Because they are eating fat with taxpayers' money. Their money is increased. They are driving SUVs and everything. They have silent their mouth with money so they don't know how to talk. Their constituency, people are suffering, dying of hunger. They will carry two measures of rice and go and give them and they will snap each other and do video and say ah we have actually we, we have actually gone to our community to go and help the needy and when they go to the house that they are supposed to stand up and speak truth to power no you will not see any of them it will be complete silence when they brought up this in the only person that started countering it was oshimole and i keep saying it i say oshimole is really really a different person in this house because i respect him a lot for what he has been doing He's been one person that I've really, really stood in for the people. Anytime they bring a, a pass, they bring a bill and it doesn't sit well, he will be the one to stand up and attack it, even though he's a member of the APC. That is the job we actually elected oppositions to go and do there. They have become, they have, they have joined hands in hands. But hands in hands, as the Bible said, the wicked will not go unpunished. Eventually, the, the elections still they come. They'll come back. They should better prepare rigging. Because if they don't rig their way through, Nigerians will remove them. How can you be there? They are passing bill of, 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 of national anthem when people are dying of hunger. Common, common minimum wage. They have used one year to talk about it, collecting money and eating. Set up a committee, gave them 500 million, and they couldn't come up with minimum wage that Nigerians can collect. Every day, labor is going for a meeting and coming out. No change. School fees is at, is at the highest. And you are saying student loan. Student loan up to today, you have not been able to give one person. And then you quickly remove the subsidy from, from education. And then school fees skyrocketed. A lot of people are dropping out of school. Now we have more out of school children than those that are inside. Are we talking about free subsidy? You stood on the podium and you woke up one morning. It's like the thing just touched you. You say, subsidy is gone. And bam, the whole place became hell. For Nigerians, and you have gone back and you style and put it, and you are lying to Nigerians that you didn't put it, and still yet everything is high. Dollar, you woke up one morning and say, eh, Let us, eh, what do they call that thing, self? Let us float the naira. Everything they have done, they have no plan to actually ease the, the, the pressure of those things, and that is why we keep a uh, suffer everywhere. You went to humanitarian ministry, gave them money. All they did was to open an account and put it inside. Women just they run the economy down. They chop life. Billions just they go. They will call life. We have given to 2.5 million Nigerians have received. Receive what? And then we have lawmakers that are sitting down in the house and all they are passing is how to change the national anthem from the old one to the new one. This is clearly showing you that we have a long way to go for three years. If you think say anything will change, you are in for a very long thing. Let me drop it here so that you can have your say. Drop your comment in the comment section. We really love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so that whenever we drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. I'm obedient and I'm useful. I hope you are. Fingers crossed. Let's keep holding them responsible and see how it pans out. God bless you. I'll see you next time.